The Extreme Kayak Fishing Tournament Trail is the biggest offshore kayak fishing tournament series in the world. Joe Hector and I will give you a behind the scenes look at the 2017 Sailfish Smackdown and everything that goes into making these world class events happen. Doing our kayak checks, which is mandatory in the morning. So we have our committee guys, uh, with the help of Nautical Ventures and some of my other helpers, that check everything in the kayak, make sure all the rigs are the right rigs for this event. This is a catch and release tournament. Um, and then we also have the Coast Guard that's going to come and check them as well. Because I blew up the other one. This is your first time doing this, bro? I'll just do it. All right, guys, so we're about to do the shoot off. We're about 10 minutes away. And as you can see, everyone lines up right on the beach. Uh, we got a lot of kayakers that are in the water. They have live wells and they got live bait. So the boat right there is providing the bait and they got to keep it alive. If you haven't been to one of these events, listen, you don't have to fish it. You can come here, meet some of the best in the country from all over the country that fishes this event. So it's, it's really a sight to see one of our coast guards awesome the growth of the sailfish smackdown has been truly unbelievable we had 12 people fish the very first sailfish smackdown and guess what the winner of that event was from oklahoma a landlocked state and that changed everything for extreme kayak fishing hey guys i'm robert field i've been fishing the extreme tournaments for a few years now and I love what these guys are doing. I really wanted to help grow this thing. So instead of fishing these events this year, I'm gonna be part of the team, really kind of helping them organize everything, film everything, so we can really show other people what we're doing. So about to jump on the help boat. We're gonna be running around chasing anglers that are catching sailfish, logging their catches, and filming them from the boat. Give you guys a little behind the scene look at, at what we're doing out here. All right, we just launched the boat. We've already got a sailfish on. Just got to him. Now we're gonna follow him, make sure he's good, confirm the landing, mark the time. It's the most sailfish caught and time is the tiebreaker. All right, we got our first angler hooked up. Launch was not even 30 minutes ago. He has hooked up the sailfish pretty shallow. We got our two help boats running. Second sailfish on the day. First one was landed at 820 by a guy from New York. And now we've got another one on. About to run over there, assist him, make sure he lands the fish, help release it if we need to. Second sailfish hookup. Going for a sleigh ride. Sounds like we got two sailfish on, the other help boat's helping the other one. Watch out, watch out. This is one benefit of having the help boats. Not only can we assist the anglers, but we can also assist the fish, make sure we can revive them so they swim off good and strong. It's very important in extreme kayak fishing to really protect these fish. That's why they follow IGFA regulations. They only allow circle hooks and fluoro in these, this tournament. It's really important to us to make sure all these sailfish swim off strong. But in between hookups, the guys on the help boats have to entertain themselves somehow.
Hey guys, so it's day two of the Sailfish Smackdown. We're super stoked. We just had the uh, shoot off in the morning. And I'll tell you what, I mean, there's a lot going on right now, yeah. right? It's yeah. insane. We've had two sailfish that have been landed already. We're here waiting to get on one of the help boats. Unfortunately, we had a little problem with one of our boats this morning. It's always something. It's always something with these tournaments, but you always got to be ready for it. So we're yeah. ready for it. We got more boats out there. Yeah, and if you remember last year, you know, day one was pretty good, but day two is really where the action picked up. So right, yesterday right. was awesome. We had four sails caught. Uh, I think 10 hookups all together. Yeah. So the action was killer yesterday and today is already shaping up. I mean, it's not even an hour into the tournament. We got several tails hooked up. I'm stoked, man. We also got the rail blaze of Calcutta that's still open. Oh yeah. That's over 3K. So a lot of guys are gunning for that as well. So yeah, the tough thing about this tournament, you know, you, we use the floral leader and circle hooks. Yeah. So we're with the IG, IGFA guidelines. Yeah. You know, it's really important to us to make sure we keep, take care of these sailfish. Don't kill them unnecessarily. Um, and that really makes it a challenge for the kingfish. So right now the kingfish is wide open. Talking about several thousand dollars for a yeah. couple of kings. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of money to be won today, and uh, anyone's got it, really. It's anyone's it's, game. It's anyone's game. Well, I gotta get back to work, guys. I gotta get on the radio here. There's someone else is hooked up. So uh, we'll see you guys on the water, and let's get some more sales. Yeah. Let's do this. She's <laughs> gonna start like dancing. One of the things Extreme really prides himself on is accommodations for the anglers. Zona Fresca is the official food sponsor, and right now we're running around delivering burritos to anglers on the water. I don't know if any other tournament does anything like that. Nice. We continued cruising around and verifying the catches as the competitors landed sailfish after sailfish throughout day two, with a record 17 sails landed and documented during the tournament. Extreme's resident underwater photographer, George Bustamante, captured these incredible moments. But by far the most insane moment of the event came when one angler hooked landed and released his fourth sailfish in two days, doubling the previous extreme record. You should do this only for the burritos. So overwhelmed right now, he still hasn't hit me. And awesome, man. Benny's the man. Awesome job. And uh, Benny caught four sailfish and release four sailfish. That is a record for the Sailfish Smackdown. So, Benny. good job, man. Uh, we'll see you tonight at the ceremony. Number one, how about those hell boats? I mean, they work. We had a boat with an engine that blew up, but we got it done. We documented the fish. I mean, what an amazing event. And it's just the anglers and the way that they were helping each other and calling on the radio for other anglers that needed help. I mean, watching that today, it really made me feel great about the future of the sport. It made me feel great about the future of the tournament series. And it also made me feel great about the growth of you guys as anglers and how much better we're getting every year. And our sponsors, I mean guys, without them, we wouldn't be here today. They've been helping us out with everything. Let's give it up for Fish Brain. And how about this awesome Calcutta? Let's give it up for Rail Place. And we got Mike in here. He helped us out on the boats. Let's give it up. The Kingfish Calcutta, now this guy, Caught this kingfish with a circle hook and mono. You know how hard that is to do? And the Calcutta got up to $3,000! Andrew Myers, come on up! Let's get it up for him! Now, I personally caught my first sailfish with this guy, finally! First place. This guy wins 3,500 bucks. 
from Turbo USA. This guy, this guy has worked his butt off the past few tournaments to get to where he is today. He's a boat angler, but I'll tell you what, according to me, I think he's a kayak angler. And, he's, and this guy shaved just for this occasion. some sailfish today, he broke an extreme record catching not one, not two, how many Joe? Not three. How many was it? Four, four, four. 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 So make sure you follow us on ExtremeCryFishing.com, on Facebook, on Instagram, and now we have a brand new YouTube channel which will show every that's been going on through this whole tournament, Extreme Kayak Fishing TV. So thank you.